I just had to step away there for a quick refuel myself and get a cup of tea, but 25 minutes to go here at Brands Hatch. It's been a pretty quiet race, actually. It's been um, a very clean race, only two safety cars. Uh, the first one, a, a small spin, and uh, someone was trapped in the gravel at the final turn. And then the second one, which was actually straight after the first one, was simply for a car um, breaking down during the safety car, which can often happen because... They've, they run so hot and so close to maximum temperature that as soon as they slow down, all the air that moves through these cars to cool them is no longer moving through it because you're going so much slower. So there is often overheating issues in the safety cars, periods. Um, but Jan Mardenborough has, has taken over from Chris Hoy after a good solid first stint from Chris. Um, Jan is now in the car and running in 11th place, uh, chasing down... don't think we'll be getting any weather to uh, to interrupt the event which which is good
so just over ooh, just under 20 minutes to go now just uh, 17 and a half minutes to go here from Brands Hatch uh, Jan is um, still in 11th place he's uh, struggling a little bit at the moment he's, he's still doing solid lap times but he is being caught by um, by the 12th place Ferrari it's um, it was a shame about the 15 second penalty at the pit stop for the second place last time out because if we hadn't had that we'd have been a lot further up the queue but um, you know those are those are the rules we race by and uh, you know it was good in a way silver lining of due to the success we had last time out but uh, yeah, he's struggling a little bit at the moment. So I think uh, tire tire wear will really start to become a factor now. He is starting to stem the loss to uh, the Ferrari behind him, and uh, we've probably got about um, about uh, ten or eleven laps to go. Almost exactly ten laps to go. So it's a bit of a quiet point in the race, um, and uh, as we've been talking a lot about the uh, win last time out. It's already showed you the video at the beginning of the broadcast, but it's for those who have just joined us. Uh, here again are the highlights from Spa Francorchamps, the uh, first podium for Secret Hoy in the Nissan GTR. What a place to do it, you know, it's such a special, special venue this and it was such a tense wait as well to sit there and have to watch Wolfie who was doing so well, he was leading the race from pretty much the, the first lap he got into the lead. It was his first time at Spa so to get on the podium is just a, it would be a dream, you know, you, you wouldn't think it possible. When I heard through the, the headphones, this is your last lap, I just thought, don't cock it up. You know, you're just you're thinking, and then that moment, that thought pops in your head, and you think, don't think about that, just focus on the basics, just, just do what you know you have to do. So it was just about keeping doing the same, same thing I've done all weekend, and just try and drive cleanly and, and smoothly. He enjoyed winning one of his gold medals, apparently, so... <laughs> yeah, you can't say more than that, can you? It's different to cycling, and cycling, you, you know, it's your 100% your effort that's won the race, whereas this is a whole team effort, you know, literally all the guys getting the team ready, getting the car ready, Wolfie who pretty much delivered the, the car in a winning position for me, it's it's a feeling of this is, you know, we're, we're accepting this on behalf of the team. 